Thank you for choosing Push Engage. Let me quickly show you around. I'll show you everything Push Engage can do for you. We can get up and running quickly just by logging into your Push Engage dashboard and setting up your installation settings. You can set things up like your site image, site name, web address. You can choose your website type to quickly integrate your website with Push Engage. Plus, you can set up a welcome message for all your subscribers. And this acts as a confirmation for a new subscription. Under Site Preferences, set your time zone and you're good to go. Next, configure your opt-in method. There are several dialog box styles to choose from. Okay, let's create our first notification. From here, just fill out the general information like your notification title, the message that you want to convey, the URL, add an image, and all the changes that you make, you can easily see a preview on the right so you know exactly what it will look like to your visitors. You can also choose to create multiple calls to action for your message or quickly add a larger image here. With notification duration, you can keep the notification open until the user interacts with it. Next, you can choose when to expire notifications, and this could be anywhere from 0 to 28 days. We recommend that you keep the setting low, so if someone takes a break from the internet, when they come back, they won't see several messages from you all at once. Next, you can easily add UTM parameters for your notifications right from your dashboard, so you can quickly track how the push notifications are performing. And for scheduling options, you can either choose to send the notification immediately or for a later time. You could also choose your time zone or theirs. And you can even set up a repeat schedule. Now let's look at audience selection. If you want to send this notification out to all of your website visitors, then you can skip this part and send the notification. And this is perfect for your first one. When you start to have subscribers, then you can segment your audience. First, you can choose only subscribers who have subscribed to your push notification by date range. You can also segment your subscribers automatically based on certain actions, like what they do on your site. So if someone reads your hotel article, subscribes from that page, you can add them to your popular hotels segment. Or if they subscribe to flights page, then add them to a flight segment as well. And since all the push subscribers are auto segmented based on geography, device, and browser segmentation, you can easily create segmented notifications based on these criteria as well. You can send a notification to a sample of your subscribers if you want. Now all you have to do is save the notification and your first notification is ready to go. And if you want to see which notifications perform better, you can set up A-B testing so you can experiment with different text items, different images, or use different timings to find out what suits your subscribers best. Now now let's look at automations. You can set up several different automatic notifications based on what's happening on your site. First, you can set up a drip autoresponder where you create a series of push notifications under each drip. For example, this would be great for bloggers to send a series of say the best hotels to visit to the folks who subscribe to your hotel segment on your travel site. And if you have an e-commerce store, you could quickly create a cart abandonment autoresponder. So if any of your subscribers leave without purchasing, they'll be reminded to come back and complete their order. Now, what if they haven't purchased it? That's okay. You can even set up a price drop notification that will let the customer decide the price point that they would buy the product. And then they'll get a notification if that price drop happens. Plus you can personalize your drip campaigns even more with attributes. So you can add things like their name, city, price, just to personalize the campaign just for them. And you have several trigger options to choose from. For instance, you can do a browse abandonment notification, and this is perfect for a price page. So if someone browses your pricing page, but they don't make the purchase, then you can follow up with them using triggers. Or you can create your own trigger campaign. If someone started watching your video, but they didn't finish, you can do product review requests. You can save item alerts and any other trigger that you can think of for your website. You can even set up a simple RSS auto push. So any new posts that are published on your site, your subscribers will get a notification so that they can go back and read it. Once you set up your notifications, you can see just how each one is performing using Push Engage's analytics dashboard. From here, you'll see things like new subscribers, unsubscribes. You can also see the click through rate of your notifications so you can see what's working and what's not. And with subscriber statistics, You'll know data like where most of your subscribers are, what browser they use, what device they're on. So you can easily use the data to create geographical or device specific push notifications to increase your click through rate even more. You can also use an opt-in analytics to see which type of subscription dialog box performs best on your website. With user management, you can easily add team members to your account and create different access rights for each one. Plus, with multi-site support, you can easily manage multiple websites from your Push Engage dashboard. Pretty awesome, huh? Now that you've seen all that Push Engage can do for you, 
go ahead and create your first notification. And if you have any questions, you can check out our helpful documentation area or just reply to the email we sent. The Push Engage team is here for you and we're happy to help.